I'm going to be signing a national emergency. And it's been signed many times before. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs. So they want the walls to come down. How much harm would open borders actually portend for our country? And is there indeed a crisis on the border? For answers, former Drug Enforcement Administration agent Derek Maltz. Derek, border agents, ICE agents I spoke to in El Paso just this past week, they insisted they need an expanded board, uh, border wall on that border. Here's the question. If those walls came down in places like El Paso, where Beto O'Rourke is suggesting, what would be the impact? Look at the murders in uh, Juarez, right across the, the border of El Paso. That's why there's thousands of people being murdered. But let's look at it even further. Raymond, look at what happened over the weekend. We had a meth lab in Atlanta, 400 pounds of meth. We haven't seen a lab like that since 2000. We had all these Mexican illegal aliens. Everyone but one was illegal. And they were producing meth. By the way, one pound of meth is a, will, will create five pounds of toxic waste. That's 2,000 pounds of toxic waste. Where are the environmentalists in, in Atlanta. now? Right now, yeah. yeah, exactly. The other thing is too, in North Carolina, just this week, there was more six people arrested, all illegals for the Jalisco cartel. Jalisco mm. is one of the most violent cartels in the world. So to have no border security is a national crisis. We want to keep the drugs and thugs out of the country. Look what happened on the New York City subway. The poor guy, 20 year old, yeah, he's a gangster, yeah. shot in the head on video. Yeah. And look at the guy's background. He had 12 private prior arrests. He was out on $2,500 bail. And you know what was crazy, Raymond? The guy was beating somebody with a pipe. Yeah, I saw That's it. what happened. Unbelievable. He was beating someone with a pipe. Now, there are those today who are insisting the drugs are not coming through those open areas of the border, but elsewhere. Watch. Sure, we do know there are drugs that are coming as well across the border in between ports of entry, but it's DEA, it's Customs and Border Statistics that tell us otherwise. Drugs don't come in through the border like the president seems to think that they do. 80 to 90 percent of the drugs that he identified in, that, uh, in his speech are seized at the border, at, at ports of entry. Is that true? Is there no threat outside of those ports of entry? First of all, the statistics are so flawed. We don't know what we're missing. Like, just wow. I was talking to a buddy in Arizona. He's a lead law enforcement agent in Arizona, Doug Coleman. He's, he's awesome. Doug Coleman told me today that they seized 400,000 pills, okay, of this Mexican oxy. Go talk to the parents of these high school studs in Phoenix that are dying, mm -hmm. these counterfeit pills. So, it's, it's, so we don't know what we're, what we're missing well, we don't know what over we're missing. the deserts so and in these open areas. So when the backpackers are coming in, it's not just marijuana. They have liquid mm. meth bringing it to these labs like the one in Atlanta. So it's, it's a complete fallacy. We want one option for everyone to come in, the port of entry. Then we put the screening and the technology at those port of entries. Bottom line, you were there for years. You were in charge of stopping drugs coming into this country. Is there a crisis on our border, yes or no? There's a tremendous crisis, and it's not just, ask the family, 72,000 people have died. But more importantly, it's kids that don't know what they're taking. It's like popping a pill at a party, you think it's kind of gonna be cool. You don't wake up, your parents are finding you dead. So the problem is, it's, it's, there's no quality control. And by the way, Raymond, the, 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 comp, the uh, synthetic compounds are coming from China. Mm -hmm. So we have China, too, working with the Mexican cartels. To move it into the That's country. a dangerous combination for America's national security. We'll leave it there. Derek, thank you for your insight.